the scale of self-exploration. Self-exploration means looking at your own thoughts, feelings, behaviors and motivations and asking why they are there. It is looking for the roots of who we are and looking for answers to all the questions we have about ourselves. The scale was first operationalized by C.B. True and afterwards revised by R. Tausch. To make the scale applicable, we should first take a look at the process of non-directive coaching conducted by the transition coach. The major task of the coach in this context is to help the client that he or she will get to the bottom of the problem and inspire and stimulate the client's self-exploration. Tausch gives descriptions for each and every step which allow the coach to measure exactly the degree of client's self-exploration. Step 1. The client does not talk about him or herself, nor about his or her behavior or his or her feelings. He or she speaks exclusively about facts which are independent to his or her person. Step 2. The client does not report about him or herself, nor about his behavior or about his or her feelings. He or she only speaks about other people and things that are related to him or her. For example, the parents and their car. Step 3. The client reports about external events and his or her own behavior, but without speaking about the feelings related to the events or to the behavior. Step 4. The client reports about external events and also reports about his or her own behavior, but without speaking about the feelings related. The coach can assume that his or her statements are connected with feelings or of greater importance for him or her. Step 5. The client reports about his or her own behavior or external events and the feelings related. The main part of the statement consists of the description of his or her own behavior or external events. The feelings are only mentioned briefly. Step 6. The client reports about his or her behavior or external events and about the related feelings. The statement consists mainly of a description of his or her feelings. Step 7. The client predominantly reports about his or her feelings. In addition, the coach must notice an approach of the client to clarify his or her emotions, to see them in new contexts and to ask him or herself where certain attitudes come from. Step 8. The client describes his or her feelings in detail and clearly expresses the search for new aspects and connections in his or her experience. And in step 9, the client describes his or her feelings in detail. So he or she is talking about the internal rather than the external. It is clear that he or she finds new aspects and connections to his or her experience. The upside down pyramid consists of nine levels of difference in transparency and size. Both symbolize that the more the client goes on with his or her self-exploration, the more he or she is able to expand the perception of feelings, emotions, thoughts and their backgrounds as well as the ability to gain self-competence and to pursue self-development. Mm -hmm.